guys so I noticed that I'm always doing uh, video reviews on different you no know, series and stuff like that and I realized I never actually told y'all what my favorite movies was and so I, I thought like you know let's do a top five I don't want to do a top ten because I don't want to be that broad I don't want the, the video to go down that long but my top five favorite movies that I noticed that I can keep watching a lot and just love each time I watch it. So let's do number five. The last first, I'll, I'll, stay the last, the, I'll say the best for last. So number five would definitely be Constantine. I'm talking the one with Keanu Reeves in it and it's like super old now. And that's why I was so sad when the series went off the air, but so happy when it actually existed. So loved Constantine. I've been wanting the part two for almost, I think, gosh, I think past 10 years now. And um, I still love it. I can watch it. Every time it comes on TV, I'm always just sitting there like, I gotta watch this, guys. <laughs> so, love Constantine. It had a great concept, super creepy. And um, I just fell in love with it. You know, that, that you know, the heaven and hell and the, the incantations. And my, I think my favorite part was gosh i don't have favorite oh when he went into hell I me mean, back back when it came out, i had a flip phone and i had actually kept my uh screensaver on my flip phone as when he's crawling when he's coming out of hell all the demons and he smashed the holy water on his chest my favorite movie love it number four would be see it's always hard for me to put it in order so i love them all equally but number four i'm going to say is inception loved inception oh my gosh inception is my movie it was it was just so deep like after i watched inception i started getting into like dream stuff i bought um i bought a bunch of crystals and put them underneath my pillow and tried to get deeper in dreams start lucid dreaming and inception changed my life <laughs> i love that movie it was so freaking deep i started being able to control my own dreams after inception i just said you know that's a whole nother resources we haven't even, even tapped the dream world. There's been great philosophers who's got some of their inventions and philosophies from a dream. You know, our brains are amazing. We should really focus more on an inception with the different levels and the putting in a, a thought in someone's uh, mind and diving deeper and how and do the kick and you know you fall back into water and then it's a dream for oh man inception is my inception was about to be number one but it's it can become the long side so i i noticed that it can't it, it doesn't beat number one but it's it's definitely in my top five i've watched a, a lot of movies so it's number four and i would make it number two but i want to make it number four my third movie in my top five is Silent Hill. Silent Hill was the most creepiest uh, horror movie. It was not even, it wasn't about the scary, it was the deep concept, like that concept though. And it's like, it was cool, so like, there's like a real Silent Hill I wanna go visit someday, like in real life. And like the people was just so evil and doing so much wickedness to a one little girl and like the monsters and the, it kind of, it's a whole video game franchise and the monsters were so creepy and, and like you know it's a pyramid head and I even did a sculpture back then I was so into Silent Hill I did a sculpture and a painting of Silent Hill like I show my painting uh, yeah, I do it. it's, it's a way right now but I did a painting of, I, I was in love with some, some pyramid head loved the whole concept it was it was awesome it was my painting they told <laughs> I did it I was in school and uh my teacher didn't like scary stuff, my, my art teacher, and my art teacher was like, I don't want that in my room. I was like, what? And she's like, I don't want that in my room. So I ended up taking it and um, putting it down, but um, love that movie. Okay, so number, uh, where am I at? Number two would definitely be Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Not all of the Harry Potter movies can make it into my top five. Some were good, some were okay. But the Goblet of Fire was awesome i read all the harry potter books and so when i read the goblet of fire and see you know and you see in your head when you're reading it the the chariot come down and the and the you know uh the ship come out the water and i must say it gave me like goosebumps when i saw i was in the theaters and i saw that what i read come to life i was like you know so definitely loved harry potter and the goblet of fire that was so and then like dumbledore running up with harrison did you put your name in the goblet of fire and i'm like 
<laughs> you know, good one, you did it. But um, the effects were beautiful, and then they got the the Yule Ball, and it was I hope it was called. It's been a while since I read it and saw it, but love that movie. All the effects were so gorgeous. I wanted that was the year. I said, why doesn't this world exist? <laughs> so, <laughs> loved it. And number one, which is a hard place to come with me, but number one would definitely be The Lords of the Ring, The Two Towers. Not all the franchise gets to be number one, but The Two Towers was the day I fell in love with The Lords of the Ring. Fell in love with Legolas, fell in love with the concept, wanted to go to Middle Earth, bought all the, bought the, got the, um, uh, Legless doll back there got the the Lords of the Ring stuff. Started asking that for that just for Christmas. I just two towers changed my life. I wanted nothing but Lords of the Ring things, and I wanted that world to exist. So that's my top five. Tell me in the comments what y'all think about it. Let's go back over it. Um, I said Constantine, Inception, Silent Hill, Harry Potter, and the Lords of the Ring. And I love all of those movies. And so tell me in the comments. I'd love to know y'all top five. It would be great to hear if, if, if any of mine make the list. So um, like I said, all videos, I'm an author. Check out my book in the link below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Bye.